Welcome back. This is a deadly problem that affects millions of Americans every single day. According to the CDC, more than 80,000 Americans died from opioid abuse in 2021. However, there is hope for those of you who want help on your sides. Rich Donnelly introduces us to a woman who wants to help those who are struggling by sharing her story of overcoming addiction. My rock bottom was I got in a brand new car. I crashed it. I mean, slammed it right into the wall on Normandy at like 130 miles an hour. That was in 2020. That accident was the final straw in five years of drug addiction for Melissa Christian after being prescribed pain pills following a different accident in 2015. You know, something that's got your name on it. You think it's legal. It's okay. You know, you're not doing anything wrong. And then before you know it, I'm strung out and addicted. When prescriptions ran out, Christian would buy drugs on the street and spend her last dollar on pills instead of her children. There's not a normal day because like what the, the medicine that's supposed to be making you feel better ends up making you feel worse and then it, you need it just to function, like to wake up in the morning. You have to have it. Your whole life revolves around it. It literally sucks the soul out of you. I couldn't quit on my own. I tried. I, I'd make it, you know couple days here, a couple weeks there, and I, I couldn't. It had me. The grip was too tight. Christian was Baker acted following the car crash in 2020. Then she turned to River Region for help. For 50 years, River Region has served the Jacksonville community. CEO Jacqueline Dowdy says her organization works with partners to find the best care possible for its clients. We do provide mental health services for those folks who are dealing with co-occurring disorders. We're finding that more and more of those mental health clients are increasing and coming through our doors. Some of them come in with a substance use issue. River Region gave me the tools that I needed to get my head straight. Now almost two years sober, Melissa Christian gave birth to her third child and is more present in her children's lives and more engaged at work as an esthetician. She also has a message for anyone currently struggling with addiction. It all starts with a choice. I make the same choice every single day. I get up and I decide I'm not going back to what broke me. I will not. I will not. And I and you just have to, you know, keep showing up, keep doing the right thing. And I'm t it gets easier every single day to a point where I don't even think about it ever. And now she's an example of how to climb out of the grips of addiction. Reporting in Orange Park, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side. Thank you.